Pinky Corn by Matilda Rose and Tim Budgeon. Next time you're in Fairyland, make sure you pay a visit to the Magic Pet Shop in the town of Twinkleton under Beanstall. It's a truly enchanting place. There are baby dragons, talking llamas, beautiful phoenixes, and even cheeky narwhals. But the most magical pets of all are the unicorns. Every year, young princesses and princes arrive in their carriages to pick a perfect unicorn pet. This year was no different. First came Princess Mia. She chose friendly flutter toes. Prince Alfie chose shy glitter horn. And Princess Ruby chose stylish mellow curls. Last to arrive was little Princess Ava. I'd like a unicorn, please, with sparkly hooves, a rainbow colored mane, and a very, very, very long and swishy tail. Dear me, said Mrs. Pauls, it looks like we're all out of unicorns. But don't worry, I'll have just a thing. Oh, said Ava, what is it? It's a buggy corn, said Mrs. Pauls. Buggy corn was small and round, with a funny snuffly nose, a curly little tail, and a rainbow colored horn. Hmm, thought Princess Ava. Buggy corn wasn't quite what she had in mind. On her list, the unicorn is supposed to be graceful, elegant, with shiny mane, swishing tail, sparkling hooves, four legs, and rainbow horn. But Ava had an idea. Guess what, Buggy Corn? I'm going to turn you into the best unicorn ever. You just need to think unicorn. But thinking unicorn didn't help Buggy Corn keep up at the galloping gala. It didn't help him sit still at the fairy's garden party. Buggy Corn definitely wasn't thinking unicorn on his way home from the main and tail salon or at the Prince Party Pen Special. And as for the leaping over rainbows, nope, no change. You're the worst unicorn ever, said Princess Ava. I'm going to the unicorn picnic and you're not invited. So Princess Ava stomped off to the enchanted forest, leaving poor Puggycorn all alone. A little rainbow tear fell down Puggycorn's cheek. Thinking unicorn does not come naturally when you're a Puggycorn. Princess Ava had a wonderful time at the picnic. She ate three delicious confetti cakes and played unicorn hoopla. Then Princess Ruby lent her mellow curls and together they won the egg and horn race. I wish I had a unicorn! Not a silly puggy corn, thought Ava, looking longingly at the friend's graceful pets. But the sun was setting and it was almost night. I think we should go home, said Ruby nervously. But everything looked different in the dark. Which way was the palace? This way, said Princess Mia. But Fluttertoes didn't want to get her dainty hoofs muddy. Down here, said Prince Alvi, but Glitterhorn refused to tangle her mane on the nasty prickly branches. Through these trees, suggested Princess Ruby, but an owl hooted loudly above them, and mellow curls swooned with shock. You see, unicorns may look dazzlingly beautiful, but they are absolutely no good in a crisis. Then, just when they thought things couldn't get any worse, the panicking princesses and princes heard a rustling, snuffling sound deep in the forest. A monster! shrieked Princess Ruby. What if it eats our confetti cakes? said Princess Mia. What if it eats us? squeaked Prince Alfie. The sound came closer and closer and closer until... Buggy coin, gapes Ava. Her loyal little pet had come to save them. Rainbow light shining from his magical horn. 
A creepy forest was no match for a plucky little piggy coin. Together, the princesses, princess, and their unicorns followed Puggy Corn as he led them home, squelching slip, slop through the mud and stepping carefully over the prickly bramble bushes and leaping wee across the stream. Safely back at the palace, Ava gave Puggy Corn a tummy rub and she even let him chew on her second favorite slipper. I'm sorry I tried to change you, said Eva. You are not a unicorn. You're a puggy corn. My puggy corn. And that's much, much better. Puggy corn's horn glowed with happiness. So everyone in fairyland lived happily ever after. Princesses, princes, puggy corns, and not so perfect unicorns. And Mrs. Paw's magic pet shop had never been busier. The most wished for, long for pets in fairyland, puggy corns. The end.